My name is Kirk Kwiatkowski. I am the executive chef for Michigan State University and we're here with the Michigan Farmers Markets Association talking about hand washing uh, at a farmers market. Your local inspector for the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development is not only here to provide inspections for firms, but also to help businesses understand the policies and regulations behind them and the possible food safety concerns to make sure that you don't become a part of a cross-contamination with your product. If you're going to have a cooking demonstration at any farmer's market, you have to have a portable hand washing station within 15 feet of where that cooking demonstration is going on. And don't let that be a barrier to having a cooking demonstration at farmer's market because there are some very inexpensive, low cost ways to create a hand washing station and make everything possible. So some of the things that you're gonna to need to set up your portable hand washing station, you need a table. The table does not have to have a tablecloth on it recommended but it's not needed you're going to need an insulated container and the key with this insulated container is it's going to need a free-flowing spigot you're also going to need a discard bucket which has to be equal or greater than the size of the insulated container that you've got your warm water in. You're going to need suitable hand cleaner and that hand cleaner can be something you get and bring or it could be something you buy from a local vendor. You need disposable towels and a waste paper basket. We can set up a very inexpensive portable hand washing station for a one-time cost about $150 to $300. Uh, very, very reasonable, economical. Uh, when you compare it to a cost of anywhere from maybe $115 to $150 for a portable hand washing station for a one-time use, this is investment that you can use as often as you would want to be doing cooking demonstrations at any farmer's market. So whenever you're setting up your portable hand washing station at a farmer's market, it's really important you have to have potable water. You can get that potable water from a municipal source or bottled water that you're bringing with. It's really, really good practice to wash your hands on a regular basis. Super easy to do. Get your hands a little bit wet. We all know how to wash our hands. And what we're doing is we're looking for at least 20 seconds of rubbing your hands together vigorously and if you're not sure what 20 seconds is sing happy birthday to yourself at least once don't sing it real fast but and then we take some paper towel and make sure you shut that off with the paper towel whenever we have the gray water after washing your hands you do not dump that out and it doesn't go on the ground it has to be disposed of in a sink drain or in a mop bucket drain in a bathroom or designated area. When we've been working with the Michigan Farmers Market Association, we've been using this Cambro insulated container and they now have this really kind of cool feature that has Velcro that puts goes right on top of and all you have to do is Velcro it down and then there's a spigot that goes right on here. So we have automatic without touching anything. And our soap is here, and then our paper towels are right there. The insulated container is about $100. This add-on piece is about $130. So if you wanted any more information about portable hand washing sinks or cooking demonstrations for any of your farmer's markets, make sure to check out michigan.gov slash farmer's markets.